Hey, what's the guys? It's Unleashed here today. And the Sonic Frontiers gameplay for the combat has now dropped. I just remember to a voice. You can already tell that I'm pretty happy about it. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's react to the combat gameplay for Sonic Frontiers in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, I don't have to mention once again. IGN First continues on with yet another look at Sonic Frontiers gameplay, this time focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all new set of baddies, some of which are among the most massive bosses we've ever seen in a Sonic game. Fortunately, Interesting. Sonic's got right. some new tricks up his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN all throughout June because we've got a full hands on preview and interviews from the developers in store. For now, though, enjoy the combat of Sonic Frontiers. This music sounds really nice. Alright, there's the animation. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got the ball enemies first. Ooh, okay, they got lightning on them. Alright. Okay, I can see Sonic's legs are stretching there when he's kicking. That's good. Okay, lost his rings. Alright, it looks like we have to take out all the balls before this enemy is defeated then. Alright, uh, interesting. Okay, the quickest they can be used is a dodge. That's actually pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Alright, so I think that's probably automated. I think you press a button for that to happen, I'm guessing. Yeah, because there's no way you're gonna control that. Definitely no way. Okay, that okay, that is good. That is good. Okay, the animation looking pretty good here, actually, not even gonna lie. Alright, so defeating enemies give you experience, gotcha. Alright, so you have to wait till the enemy is not electrocuted, gotcha. Alright. Oh, we got evading attack, alright. Actually, dodge, dodge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. They seem to be using a lot of Sonic's wind abilities, which is good here. We have the blue tornado from Heroes, and then you got that thing. I think I've seen it in a fan game, actually. I think in Sonic World ZX, I've seen that in. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Alright, some new enemy here, alright. Looks like you got attacked them with that metal thing. Yeah. Alright, using the spin cycles to take it off. Alright, so it looks like it's yeah, but time before that comes up. Alright. I like how the camera changes here. Yeah, that is a good camera change, actually. Very good camera change. I'm just look, look how easy it is for them to move Sonic. His movement is actually alright here, actually. Still not proper momentum, but. It's very easy to control Sonic here, I've noticed. Uh, another one of these? In war this time? I mean, you got that massive enemy in the background, actually. You can see that there, yeah. Roger sounds pretty good here, too, actually. I like his grunts here. Yeah, Roger's sounding really good, actually. Alright, what I'm noticing here is that these enemies aren't just pushovers. They actually have some thought to them. Which is good. Alright. Wait a second, look at that chair in the background. It has some red thing on it. Okay, I'm liking this, man. This combat's looking pretty good, actually. You look at that chair thing in the background, it's got a red on it. Some re red lasers or something. Yeah, look at it. What is that? Interesting. Yeah, look at it. You, you can see it there. That's some sort of red beam on it. I like this rain effect though. Alright, oh, what's this? Oh, these basic enemies, alright. Alright, so these are going to be the standard enemies. Yeah, very easy to take out. No trouble here. But not extremely easy, like in the boost game, they just boost through them. Yeah, he has got some dodging ability, but that's good. Alright, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. I've noticed that the time of day changes a lot and the weather too. I hope that's like just a recurring thing. That's gonna be pretty awesome, honestly. Keep things fresh, you know. Alright, you could do multiple enemies at the same time. Alright, that is good. That is really good, actually. Alright, here we go. Massive enemy here. Okay, they want to get... Okay, the... Okay, the eagle does have some animation then. It's not, it's not just a T pose. We got more of them too, actually. Alright. Roger's laughing. Why? Sonic, why are you, la why are you laughing? Alright. Is 
Is that it? Oh, no. Alright then, so I think you have to take out all three of the arms. Then. Yeah, take out one section. Alright. Yeah, as you can notice right now, this music is not part of the gameplay or anything. This is where the same music from the last trailer. Actually, actually, is it? No, actually, this sounds like the music from the first teaser trailer actually we got. This is, yeah, this is not the same music from the game from two days ago. Definitely not. Oh, you can hit the foot. What, what is that thing? Because that doesn't go straight to the hood, so it's not experienced, so I don't know what that is. Yeah, look how easy it is for them to move in a 360 degree movement here. That's that's very good. Alright. I like this camera. The camera movement is very good here. Oh wait, I just... Yeah, we're gonna have camera control this game actually, yeah. Alright, boom. Roger is sounding really good here. Okay, his head's moving here, that's good. His eyes look a bit... Is that just the lighting? I think that's just the lighting. These enemies attacks are really good too. And boom, 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 boom. And finish him. Fatality. And there we go. And I'm guessing that's it. It's been six minutes. So yep, yeah, that's it. Alright then, so, that was a lot better looking than the previous gameplay showcase. They did focus a lot more on the combat here, which is good. This is a solid combat and, yeah, not a lot of slow um, things going on here. Just always fast paces, always in the action, which is good. So, um, yeah, overall thoughts. I'm liking the way the combat is working here. It seems like the enemies, obviously some enemies are kind of basic, but that's alright because you can't have all enemies be annoying to take out because it's going to kind of just detail from taking them out. So you gotta have some easy enemies to take out, and obviously, we have to remember, we have the skill tree in this game. So obviously, that's gonna incentivize you to kill enemies, get experience and level up to make taking out these enemies a lot easier. Now we notice when Sonic um, kicks the feet of the big enemy, some sort of cogwheel comes out of it. Now I'm not sure what that is, it's not experience because when Sonic collects it, it absorbs into him, but it doesn't go directly to the hood. But also, it is the same colour as the blue orbs that we see. So I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe some sort of collectible in the game where you have to get like a certain amount of them to unlock a new move or something like that. I don't know because that is a bigger boss. So maybe by taking out the bigger boss rather than the smaller enemies, that's how you can unlock some certain moves or something like that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, like we said earlier, the music is definitely not part of the game really here. So we haven't really heard the battle music in this game. Now I do hope that it's not just the same music that plays in the overworld when you're obviously taking on these enemies. There needs to be a change of music because that'll make it a lot more epic to fight these enemies because these enemies obviously take quite a bit of time to actually take out so we have some better music to accompany us there. That also the atmosphere a lot better than this basic music, that, well not basic music because it's actually really good but just this regular music that plays here so if we have something similar to Sonic Unleash obviously but differentiate the battle music and have it not repeat itself over and over have something similar to that where as soon as you see an enemy some different music plays that'll be very good. Now have a notice that the camera actually moves quite a lot when Sonic's moving around and fighting these enemies especially when that spinning enemy thing when it sends out that Wherever the heck that is, it's shield, it sends out like a spinning, like a frisbee basically. The camera zooms out, allowing you to actually dodge it a lot easier. And I do like that camera movement because that's something that's definitely been lacking in previous Sonic games. And definitely camera control is obviously going to be in this game, because we saw in the last uh, bit of gameplay. So that is where the camera control is here. And the camera movement is a lot better than what we've seen in previous games. That is very good. Now, I know we've been kind of dunking on Sonic's um, control in the previous gameplay without the momentum and stuff like that, but... In this gameplay right here, Sonic's movement seems actually pretty damn fluid. You can evade easily, go into a different attacks very easily. Obviously the animation is still slightly off sometimes. I did notice a few janky bits here, but overall, I think what I've noticed honestly, I think the brand new animations that have come with Sonic Frontiers, those are the best ones. I've seen Sonic's legs stretching a lot when he's kicking and doing that crazy flying kick move. And then also when he's shooting those little, don't know what those um, little beams are, I think something to do with wind or something like that. When he does those moves, the animation is actually spot on. I really like the animation. But obviously when the trick animations, the reusing of all those ones, that's when they kind of slack a bit, I've noticed. So I'm guessing that when it comes to all the animations that haven't been made brand new for Sonic Frontiers, I'm guessing 
guessing that's where the polish is gonna kind of lock a bit because obviously they just kind of slap the old animation onto the new model without thinking really. But anyways, back onto the movement. It's very easy to move Sonic in a 360 degree movement and I really like that. It's very easy to evade these enemies with the quick step or even just the evade button. I really like that by the way. That actually added a lot of new moves for Sonic here and honestly overall, even without the momentum there, well obviously at this stage in the game because like I've said in the last video, we could be unlocking it later in the game with the skill tree and stuff like that. The movement is looking very, very solid and I'm very happy about it. Now then, in terms of Sonic's moveset, he has a pretty diverse moveset from what we saw last time because last time we didn't really see him engaging in combat all that much. We just saw pretty much the forces moveset in the open world and that's pretty much it. Of course we saw the trick animations and the parkour and stuff like that but essentially it was just forces all over again. But with this combat here, Sonic's got a lot of diverse moves here, which I'm, which I'm very happy about, honestly. He's got the evade, he's got the quick step that he can use to do sort of an evade, but not much. He's got some sort of homing attack, he can run on top of these enemies' legs, he can use a spin cycle. He's just got a lot of things here, and honestly, I'm very happy about this. And remember, once again, this is only the start of the game. Now, we definitely think this gameplay takes place later than the gameplay we saw a couple of days ago because obviously the time of day changes quite a lot here, meaning that some sort of time has passed since the previous gameplay. But also, this clearly is still near the start of the game because we're still on the first island. But anyway, that's why I didn't even mention this. But obviously, the skill tree. We know there's a skill tree in Sonic Frontiers and that's obviously going to help us get some more moves and stuff for Sonic. So, if this is just Sonic's first base of moves already from the start of the game, just think of what they could do in the future. We could be seeing a lot of different moves to Sonic, which is going to be, honestly, pretty good. And obviously, we don't know that for certain, and the skill tree could just unlock different things for Sonic just doing in the open world, not necessarily combat. But the skill tree could make the combat abilities more stronger so that it takes less time to take on different enemies. Anyways, that about it for today's video. So yes, we now have seen in depth the combat for Sonic Frontiers, and honestly, I am very, very happy with it. And from the looks of the community, a lot of people are happy with it too, which is honestly great to see. It shows that there actually is going to be some good things about Sonic Frontiers that people are going to enjoy, which I'm very happy about. But what do you guys think of the combat in Sonic Frontiers? Does it make you more excited for the game? Or do you have some nitpicks once again for it? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by hitting that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.